The investigation by the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau CPIBE into Transport Minister S. Iswaran has concluded, said Education Minister Chon Chan Singh on Tuesday, January 9. In a written answer to Progress Singapore Party's Hazel POA, Mr. Chong, replying on behalf of the Prime Minister, said the case is currently being reviewed by the Attorney General's Chambers AGC. Ms. POA, a non-constituency member of Parliament NCMP, had asked for an update on KPIP's investigation of Mr. Iswaran. I understand that there is much public interest in this matter. Mr. Chong said. I want to give my assurance that this case will be put through the due legal process. He noted that CPIB has completed a robust and thorough investigation. And the matter is now before AGC. It would therefore not be appropriate to comment on the matter at this juncture, he said. On July 12 last year, CPIB first revealed that Mr. Eswaran was assisting with an investigation into a case uncovered by the Antigraph Agency. Two days later, CPIB said the Transport Minister had in fact been arrested on July 11 and subsequently released on bail. Hotel Properties Limited Managing Director Ong Beng Seng was arrested on the same day. Prime Minister Lee Shin Long subsequently placed Mr. Eswaran on a leave of absence. Mr. Lee also said in August that Mr. Eswaran had his pay reduced to 8,500 Singapore dollars, 6,390 US dollars a month until further notice. Mr. Eswaran continues to draw the full annual MP allowance of 192,500 Singapore dollars. Senior Minister of State Chi Hong Tet has taken over as Acting Minister for Transport in Mr. Eswaran's absence. Few details have been released about the CPIB probe into Mr. Eswaran. It is not known what he is being investigated for or what his bail quantum was. When asked by CNA when the probe was completed, CPIB echoed Mr. Chan's comments and said that it would not be appropriate to comment further on the matter at this juncture.